Well, I became a submariner early in my career. You had to go to a surface ship first for 18 months in the submarines. And I spent 15 years in Hawaii riding submarines. And uh, I enjoyed the, the people that wouldn't make it. The Navy, it's not the ships, it's not anything, it's the people you serve with. And the people in the submarine force I found were as good as anybody I'd ever want to go to sea with or ever go to war with. So that's what I did, and I really enjoyed it. And I spent 35 years in, and I wouldn't have spent 35 years in if I didn't enjoy it, I'll tell you. I enjoyed the people, and I enjoyed what I was doing. And let me tell you, we need as many people to do that as we can get if we're going to have the country the same we've got today. You know, I learned a lot from the chief petty officer. Every one of my chief petty officers told me when I was a young officer, Mr. Smith, you want to treat them the way you want them to treat you. And if you're good and fair with them, they'll be good and fair with you. So I learned how to really be in charge and not be in charge. I was in charge and they knew I was in charge and they'd do what I wanted to. And so I ended up learning a lot from people that had already been there and done that. And if you listen sometimes instead of talk, you get more than you think you ever would get. And that's what I got. I had some chief petty officers. My command master chief, okay. on his, when I had command of a submarine, you I could ask him any question I wanted to, and he'd give me a straight answer. And that's what the Navy is all about, being up front. You've got to depend on that guy if you go to war, because he's going to be protecting your back and protecting you wherever you go. So you better talk to him and treat him just the way you want to be treated yourself.